Hi, and thank you for joining us for this week's Craft Noon here at the Coronado Public Library. I'm Jacqueline, your Adult Services Librarian, and for this week's Craft Noon, we'll be making hanging paper ferns. These paper ferns will never need to get watered and will last forever and as a fun piece of decor. If you weren't able to pick up a kit this week, all you'll need is a piece of cardboard, a piece of decorative paper, a bunch of loose book pages, some scissors and glue, and a piece of string. Let's get started. So we'll get started with our piece of cardboard that we'll have pre-cut to about nine inches by seven inches. Um, I've got this piece of cardboard off the like flap of a cardboard box that I had laying around, so I'm sure um, any piece of cardboard will do. Just go ahead and cut it into a nice, reasonable um, size. Seven by nine is our guide. You want if you want to make it a little smaller or a little larger, that's completely up to you. But what we're going to do next is we're going to take our measurement lengthwise and we're going to make a mark about halfway on that. So if mine's nine and a half, I'm just going to make a little dot at four and a half inches because we're going to be folding this piece of cardboard in half. And we want to make sure we have a guide for how that is so it looks pretty even. So what I'll do now is I'll put my pen to the side and using my ruler as a guide, and you can use whatever you have that's flat, we're just going to pull up the cardboard kind of around that middle. Absolute perfection is not necessarily the goal with anything we're making, but we do want to try and make sure you're at close to that close to that middle thing. So there we have it. We've got this nice and bendy, ready to go. Perfect. Um, that's all we're going to do is just kind of create that crease so we have that crease ready to go in the in the cardboard. But what we'll do next is we're going to take our piece of um, scrapbook paper and we're going to create our outside edge so that you know when we go to hang this up like this it's not going to look cardboardy it'll look pretty so go ahead and simply line your book up so you kind of have an idea you want to keep a nice little lip because we'll fold that over and take your glue and go ahead and just stick a whole bunch of glue on here and then we're going to flip it over and glue it down and then we'll trim off the excess afterwards Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna line it up so I've got about a half inch of excess on either side here. I'm just gonna press it down. So once that's kind of set, we're gonna take some scissors and we're gonna cut off that excess. And again, leave about a half an inch out here on any side. Okay, so what we'll do now is we are going to fold over this excess to create a nice covered edge. So same thing, we're just gonna put some glue on that and we're gonna pull it over. It's gonna help to use something like a ruler or another piece of cardboard to pull that over. I'm just gonna hold it for a couple seconds to let that set in place, perfect. Go ahead and repeat this all the way around so all four corners are glued down. Now, once your edges are all glued down, go ahead and just bend it again and let it have a second to re make sure it's all sailing in there. And then you're going to go ahead and take a hole punch. And if you don't have a hole punch, if you just have like a sharp push pin, you can push in and wiggle in, that's fine. But you're just going to go down the line just a little bit and punch a hole for our, you want to try and do it on that crease to the best of your ability. Okay, I'll wiggle this guy out. And then the same on the other side. So now we're going to go ahead and we are going to glue some, just two pieces of paper on the inside of our of our book so it has a nicer inside look to it okay so same thing just take your glue and you can use either kind of glue either a um, yellow, white glue or you can use a um, glue stick for this and just glue this down and then in a second we'll set this aside Don't worry, this is an upcycled craft. Any book pages we're using are from books that were in poor condition. So, 
this is a nice way to give them a second shot at life. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna set this aside, we're gonna let it dry all the way, and we're gonna start to make our petals. Now, one thing that can help in this, and let me go ahead and just grab my thing of petals. Um, go ahead and just start by pulling off a bunch of pages. You can do it one by one or a couple at a time. I like to do a couple at a time. And we're going to go ahead and using a glue stick, you can use regular glue, but, um, but either way you're going to be careful because you want to make sure you hold down the glue until it's dry. But you're going to put some glue on one edge of the paper. And then I find it fine, it helps to have like a nice little round object. This is an old like, little magic wand I have, but if you have like a chopstick or something else, it helps to hold the form of the paper so you don't accidentally press it down. You're just going to fold it over so that the two edges are now matched, but you have this nice loop over here. And pull this out, I'm going to hold it in place until it's nicely set. And then we're going to put this to the side. And we're going to make about 25 of these at the very least. So Now we have our about 25 of these petals now all ready to go and shaped. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to push them to the side and we're going to start creating our hanging ferns. So this is again where having something that's long and cylindrical and that can fit into your, your um, petal is going to be really helpful so that they don't flatten out as you're gluing. Because essentially what you're going to do is you're going to build up from your bottom petal. So just pick whichever one you want. You're going to take your glue and you're going to put it up here along that top edge. And we're going to take our next petal and we're going to match this loop to that edge. And it helps so that you don't take that one that you're gluing down, put your cylindrical object in there so that you can press that glued edge down without worrying about crushing your um, nice petal curve. Okay, so now we're going to keep building up. Now we're going to, so we glued on this side, we're going to flip it over and we're going to go ahead and put glue up here at the top part again. We're going to take our nice fat petal I'm going to stick our object through the side and we're going to glue that onto the glue right here. Perfect. And now we're just going to see, so like I said, holding it like this, see if you can see, means I can press down on the glued edge on this side without crushing here. Because that glued edge is all right here. Alright, so you can see here's my first three and I'm just going to keep building up till I have a strand of like six or seven. Um, you can kind of do however many you want. But we're going to create three different strands of petals to glue onto our fern. So again, about three different sets of petals. They can be as long as you want them to be or as short. But we'll go ahead and create those now. All right, so here's my first strand of my little fern petals. I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna create two more. And you can make three of the same size. You can make one a little bit longer and two a little shorter. You could make all three of different sizes. It's kind of up to you, but go ahead and make your next two strands.
we have now our three fern leaves that we're going to be using. One, two, and I made mine three different lengths, which is my choice, but you can do however you want. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to temporarily set these to the side. And we're going to pick up that cover we made. So by now everything on here should be nice and dry and ready to go. We're going to take our string and we're going to thread it through those holes we created. And this is how you're going to then be able to string up your, your fern. Okay, so we're just going to pull these through. Perfect. All right, so you don't have to worry about designing the length, how long you want it to be right now. Just pull it through, pull it tight on the inside so it's not loose. And we're gonna go ahead and attach our fern leaves. So the easiest way to do this is to take your top fern, that little um, part that's sealed together, and we're just gonna fold it. We're gonna try and fold it over carefully to create a nice, surface that we can then use to attach. So that should nice, create a nice flat surface on there now, you'll see on the top. And now we're, what we'll do is we're simply going to add glue and glue it into place. So we'll just pick our spot for the first one that's being right here. And go ahead and just fold it down. It can be helpful if you're worried about crushing it to use your instrument again. So keep it down and give it a little more firmness. Perfect. So hopefully that feels nice and secure and that'll hang nicely. Now we're just going to repeat that with our other two. And I suggest working from one direction to the other. Don't go one, one, and then the other one just so you don't have to go back and forth. So once those are dry, your fern should be able to hang up without a problem. And now you can just find a fun, you want to bend it over again up at the top, and then find a fun place to hang it. So that is our tutorial for our hanging fern. We hope you enjoy it and hope you have fun creating a fern, a nice piece of uh, upcycled decor that you can enjoy hanging in your house. Thank you so much for joining us today and have a wonderful day.